welcome to I Just Want to Talk About Books. I'm your host, Suhaila. And Zeynep. And we're here to talk about books. But, but what? What happened to Zozo, though? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of started sounding really weird. Okay. It took you, what, to figure <laughs> that out? Weeks. <laughs> Weeks. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm actually very excited about today's episode. Uh, we're going to talk about our favorite reads of the year. Um, but before we get into that, we'd like to thank our lovely listeners. Um, thank you so much, guys, for your suggestions, for commenting, your questions, and just, you know, reaching out to us and talking to us. Um, we don't we don't really know if you are out there listening, but when we get messages or emails from you guys, when we get a message we're like oh some people do listen to this right yeah that's, <laughs> that's very weird but, but in a good way weird in a good way um i don't think i'll ever get used to to that do you know what i mean um i know exactly what you mean it will never start yeah. it will never stop getting weird mm. when we say weird guys we mean weird in a good way <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is so different but different in a good way i just had this really weird idea <laughs> what is it <laughs> what being stalked by a serial killer oh my god you and serial killers because you know what let's not get into it right now <laughs> okay no no let's get into it because how, why would a serial killer be interested um, in stalking like book nerds? You know what? You can't ask that question because you never know how or why. It's how they operate. I mean, I remember, yeah. I don't remember if, if, I, if something I read or if it's something I watched, but there was this serial killer who was obsessed with this, um, with this uh, uh, radio host. And it was really intense. Is it true? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, it could be. Well, she... well, again, I'm talking about books here. Like, we don't lead an exciting life, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but, like, I mean, no offense. But, like, what what exactly would a serial killer be listening to? Like, why would this serial killer listen to a, a podcast about books? Like, oh, I just need some recommendation. But also, like, I'm craving some, like, book nerds. <laughs> However, that like that sounds really weird, but you know, serial killers are weird. <laughs> yeah. So you're um... right. <laughs> That's actually funny. Well, um, I just like, you know, I just hope that we don't have any of those listening to us right now because that would make me feel so uncomfortable. And uncomfortable is like it doesn't even just. Dis- begin to describe how we would feel if a serial killer is listening to our podcast but it's funny i think it would make looking for him a bit um easier because obviously if he's listening now you know what i'm not mm. even gonna you know what i mean i like that yeah 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 i know what you mean okay are you reading are you reading a book about a serial killer no, no, they're always they're always in the back of my mind, even when I'm not involved with any. Yeah, you know, I think you like serial killers. That's like your niche. You like that's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember when we used to listen to that podcast about serial killers? Oh God, we used to listen in the morning and before bed. Not a good idea. And on my Actually, lunch break, I was obsessed. No, no, I didn't do that. You used to do a lot of listening. I listened to one episode. I was like, I'm done here. <laughs> Not happy at all. Like, it's so gloomy and dark. And I mean, serial killers. I mean, what do you expect? No rainbows, no unicorns. It's just dark, twisted, you know, Mines. like how mm-hmm. through, like podcasts go. Like, I don't like to listen to podcasts about serial killers, but I know that's your thing. That's something that interests you. That's why you like the book that we all know, Night Film. <laughs> Even though it's not about serial killer, though. 
but no, still, no, like you like it's that. about a cult yeah. leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, um, uh, yeah, a special thank you to. Um, I'm just gonna be saying names, and I'm so sorry if I butcher your name, guys. I'm really, really sorry. But I just want to say special thank you to Hajar Aneb Semah over at the Nerdy World blog and Omay Mashurgum for leaving their comments on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys, you're so sweet. Also, I'd like to thank our lovely IG, our Instagram folks, Zeynab over at that Zeynab for always commenting. Um, Mia's bookshelf, the skeptic reader. And Dua reads, and to all our listeners, you guys are just amazing. I just want to say thank you to uh, Mia's Bookshelf, The Skeptic Reader, and Dua uh, for doing the end of year book tag with us. And here's the thing we didn't expect you guys to do videos at all. I remember texting Zenib, I was like, oh my God, these girls are spoiling us. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like, really, thank you, girls. Like, I just. I was like smiling like an idiot the whole time watching your videos. It felt like you guys were there with us. It was it was and, the sweetest yeah. thing ever. Yeah. So thank you, Dunya. Thank you, Dua, and thank you, um, Mia's bookshelf. Um, please, we're gonna leave. We're going to leave their links in the description. So please go show them lots of love because they're just angels. Okay. All right. What have you been up to lately, <laughs> Zina? Wow. Loaded question. <laughs> Well, a lot actually. <laughs> um, Go. So uh, I'm on a break. That means I have a lot of time on my hands. And remember the last time I told you um, about next year or whatever, I I was planning to um, be out there more. <laughs> you don't want to do well. That <laughs> nope. That's a big fat no because yesterday I almost got mugged and oh my God, I, yes, so it was sorry. terrible. Obviously, I didn't get any nightmares, but I can still see his ugly face whenever I close my eyes. Oh my um, and I, I told my father I'm never leaving the house again. Obviously, nobody believed me, but I think I'm succeeding so far. It's been 48 hours. And... I'm dreading the idea of being out there. Like, imagine me um, walking. I was, I was getting my, trying to get my niece pick up, pick her up from school, and right. I was still drowning in my book. Um, and the book you were reading? Totally I'm reading. No, no, I was thinking about the book because, about it. Mm. yeah, thinking hard because literally, I, I can't even stop reading for five minutes, and Damn. I had a lot to think about. I was still living in the Fey world and the Seelie and Unseelie and all the monsters and shade and all those things happening in the book. And suddenly there was this guy scaring the shit out of me. I, I couldn't even get out of my head to... Um, I know. I'm just glad that you're not like, hurt. That's like the first thing I asked. I was like, did you get hurt? Because... But again, like, it's a scary experience because you said, like, you remember his face. Like, you, you also think of, like, what could have happened. You go through all of those scenarios mm -hmm. and that's alone. It's scary. It's scary enough. I know exactly how you feel. And it's just the worst feeling you could think of. Like, Casablanca is not a safe city. Like, who are we kidding here? It's not a safe city at all. And you run into, like, so many yeah. people, so many different people, the good and the bad. Because you hear stories, come on, I mean, you hear worse stories, like worse than that, where people get hurt or, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's just, it sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. You're just, you know, as you said, like you were just walking, minding your own business, thinking about your book. <laughs> and before you know it, this asshole came out of nowhere. God knows what. You, you were not even checking your phone, right? No, 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 no. I mean, it was on me, but it wasn't. I wasn't using it. I, it wasn't. It wasn't in my hands. If that's what you. No mean. one wasn't like. No one was around. It was just you and him, or like was someone else. Yeah, it was one of those moments where everything freezes and people oh. conveniently disappear. <laughs> I hate that. Like, yeah, I was like, what? thank you. Whoever Social is looking up for me now, whoever is supposed to be protecting me, where are my fucking guardian angels now? When I need them. I mean, they were time. there, obviously. Otherwise, things um, 
you know what? Alhamdulillah, yeah. nothing happened. That's that's. Yeah, yeah. I'm just glad like nothing really serious happened. But I understand how you feel. Like I ain't leaving the house anytime soon when something <laughs> like that happens. Like I'm staying put. <laughs> Girl, you didn't even get the chance. Like the year hasn't even started, and you already like get buff. You know what, Suhaila? If it's not, it's like sucks. some kind of asshole. It's a crazy asshole. It's just exactly one yeah, of yeah. the it's two. It's just a matter of like what sort of assholes you run into. Oh man, I am so sorry, Zine. If you had to go through that, I'm sending you a huge, big ass hug right now. Um, thank you, thank you. You really, but it's yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's fine. I uh, mean, um, I have I have a good distraction. Oh yeah, your book. You are actually like in love with that book. Do you want to talk about it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened to your VM yet. Oh my god! You know what? I started reading the books after I came up with my list of five favorite books. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God. Is that how it happened? Okay. Um, Zina, you might want to tell us the titles because I know <laughs> <laughs> our listeners probably like, what are they talking about here? Okay. So, so um, mm. um, Okay, I'm just gonna tell you about the book that I'm currently reading, not the book that I read before. Um, it's mm. uh, the series is called Fever by uh, Mary Moaning, I think. I'm I'm not sure of her name. That's her last name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it is spelled differently. I'm not okay. even sure it's pronounced this way. I mean, I can't even imagine it being pronounced any other way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moaning. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe it's, mm, I can't. Moaning. Moaning. Mary moaning. Wow. It sounds terrible, but the book is breathtaking. Okay. It's an adult uh, fantasy. Paranormal, actually. Hmm. Um, do you want to know what's happening? <laughs> No, no, don't spoil it for our listeners if they're planning to read the... Is it a series or a standalone? Yes, uh, it's a series of 11 books, so uh, that's what I... Um... You finished it now, or what exactly happened? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm halfway through book three. I'm probably going to finish it today. Oh, wow. It's just like you're talk you talked to me about it like just two or three days ago. Girl, two, you're two, a fast two. reader. Two days ago. I started two days ago. Wow. I love Impressive. it and I have nothing going on for me in life and I have no interest in anything. So that happens. <laughs> it's it's like a great feeling like when you get immersed into a book like that. It just it doesn't happen that often, but when it does, no. oh sweet lord. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me why I like reading so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love I love it when like you get so into a book. You just can't put it down. Like, uh, I'm too busy reading. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just so good. Cool, 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 cool. What about you? <laughs> so, um, well, I'm still home. I'm still a hermit. You are goals. You are goals. <laughs> Recently, I've been I've been watching Friends for the millionth time. I'm on season wow. five. My favorite season. Mm -hmm. Like it's an ongoing thing. I'm I like I'm always watching Friends, so nothing new here. I know it's your favorite, your absolute favorite. Yes, yes, it is for a reason. Um, you should watch it too, but I know that you won't anytime soon. But still, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best show out there, Dunya. If you're listening, you know what I'm talking about because she gets it. <laughs> um, she's a huge fan of Friends as well. And we always send each other memes. I want to send them to you, Zenob, too, but I feel like you won't get it. Or I don't want to spoil it to you because I think you would watch it. But I'm probably not, so I might as well just go ahead and spoil it for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know. You know how it is. No. Oh, my God, no. I know that you don't. TV shows are not your thing. 
watching is not really your thing. And we all I can't remember the last time I watched anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. It's all right. Um, like people like different things, so that's fine. Exactly. So yeah, I'm watching Friends, and I've been, uh, I've been just watching Friends and downloading a lots of books onto my e-reader. Oh, congrats! By the way, again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and just you know downloading lots of books and feeling overwhelmed and excited about what to read next at this point mm -hmm. i want to read everything on my shelves and everything on my e-reader and because i'm so overwhelmed i just end up reading nothing instead i just watch friends again <laughs> this is my situation <laughs> help help you kind of crawl to your <laughs> comfort zone have you watched that movie yet um comfort i can't zone? remember with tom hanks in it and um oh my you know, god i thought you movie? said the movie called <laughs> hold on hold on i thought you said there's a movie called comfort zone i was like i want to watch it what is it what <laughs> <laughs> no no yes i watched you've got mail yesterday yeah. actually oh wow yeah yeah yesterday i watch it every right year time. like right on time <laughs> Yeah, I just love that movie. It's just so wholesome and sweet and just, you know, it's just a feel-good movie. It didn't just warm fuzzies and feeling so wholesome and just comfortable and happy. Watch that. Um, I really love that, that movie. I watched it yesterday. It's funny that you asked because I just, I watched it yesterday. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to ask you when I just remembered now. Yeah. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about our top five um, books, reads, that we um, we read this uh, year. Um, All right. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. How was your year? How was your year? Book-wise. Uh, Reading-wise. Reading okay. <laughs> you already know. I think everyone kind and of. their dog knows. <laughs> Um, well, I am actually, I'm, I'm happy with my reading this year. It's not because, not because of the number of books I read, but it's the type of books I've read. My intention in 2020 was to read more diversely. I think I told you that. Mm -hmm. I remember. And just like, yeah, and not just, and not just in terms of, um, not just in terms of genres, but also in terms of representation, topics, gender, race, classes, ages, and just read into different authors, especially marginalized authors. Um, I am more aware of what I read and I'm trying to make a conscious effort uh, to diversify my readings. So yeah, mm -hmm. I tried and I'm still trying. I think you did great. Um, yeah, and just look, looking back at my books on Goodreads, I'm really satisfied. And thank you. I think I did. I think I did okay too. For someone who wants to try to read more diversely, I think I did pretty well. Um, for a beginner, still got my training wheels on, guys. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're doing great. Um, I, I'm. Yeah, I mean, a for trying. I'm still trying. Yeah. What about you? How's your year so far? You know, Zina, uh... before you answer. <laughs> I went to Goodreads. I told you this. I went oh my to god! <laughs> <laughs> the walk of shame. <laughs> no, it's just so funny because you know people are different. You're different. I'm not here. I'm not making fun of you. I'm. So, I swear to God, I'm not making fun I know of you at not. all. I know. Um. Okay, so like you know, Goodreads they have this thing called your 2020 year in book something, and <laughs> in there like they have. <laughs> You're still laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, so they have like they have like um, the longest book you've read, like stats. You're you're reading stats, like uh, the longest book you've read, the shortest, the most popular, the least popular, and just like your reviews and stuff. So I went in there and I checked mine. I was like, okay, well this is pretty like detailed. Let me see if Zenob has hers. <laughs> if Zenob got hers. Oh my god. 
<laughs> so I was just like, hey, let me check Zenith's profile and just see what she's up to. And then I found three books. I was like, well, damn, that's not what I expected. <laughs> what, three books? Like, what were those three books? I've never heard of them. Like, you didn't even talk about those books. And I'm like, is it like, is this her account? Or is this like her second account or what exactly is happening so i texted you and you're like oh yeah i don't update goodreads <laughs> it's just so funny like how yeah but, that is yeah, her only really account funny. oh my god <laughs> no listen i as i said um if you people like track their readings differently some people don't track their readings like before goodreads i never like you know there wasn't a system where you track your books other than your notebook if you write down the books you've read or you're currently reading but before like old times i'm talking here people didn't used to track their books like people were not obsessed with this mm -hmm. um but now i think yeah people are using goodreads for that of course, for reviews and just to get book recommendations. Yeah, a lot but mostly, more. But just mostly to keep track of their reads, I guess. I guess that's not your system. And that's you know fine. what? After you told me that, I, I went to check my account and I found... Actually, there weren't three books. There were just two staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, for a moment, I was like, whose account is this? Like, if it wasn't for my profile picture and my name up there... I didn't even remember those books, to be honest. I don't, I don't remember when I read them or when exactly. I added them. <laughs> so that the day after I decided to cleanse my uh, Goodreads account, and that's what I did for like a couple of hours. I think now it's, um, okay, it's not really representative of what I read because I don't remember mm. most of the books that I read this year but mm. it's, it's i'm sure it's it's a lot more than two <laughs> exactly i was like who that two books no girl like <laughs> i don't and then, i mean it's not because two books are like it's like just two books it's just not a lot it's just in terms of like titles i'm like what are these books like i've never heard of her like she's never talked to me about these books first of all second of all she talked about so many other books but they're not included here <laughs> And you know, Zenith, that makes it hard for me if I want to stalk your good trades. You're not, you're not, you mean what is this? I'm so upset. I am making it difficult so, for that serial killer to stalk me. Oh misleading. You know him. what? Mm-hmm. You have okay, you had your reasons. Yeah. Right. Guys, don't don't check her good trades. <laughs> or please go do that and send her a message. <laughs> And ask her to update her current reads. I did. Let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on. Let's what? just let's just check that Zenip. Let's just stalk Zenip right now while oh you're at it. Oh my god. <laughs> Zenip, do you do the the currently reading thing or no? Like I did. I reading? did yesterday. Oh, <laughs> well, shut me up then. <laughs> Oh snap, you actually did. I think I did this morning when I started the third book. It's like you knew was Zenith. You knew that I was gonna like come after you. You knew that I was gonna come after you. Yeah, um, but yeah. we both know it's not gonna last. It's just because I'm free these days. Oh yes. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep it organized. I mean I mean, when life gets so overwhelming, it's just like the last thing you want to do is go to Goodreads and say, I'm on page 30, 30, I don't know, 30 or 35, and I'm enjoying the book. That's the last thing you want to do. And actually, um, um, I never do, I used to do that like ages ago to update the exact page, but now I just like, I click on currently reading, read, rating four or three stars, done, out. That's it. I don't go. <laughs> I don't go into detail because I'm like, who cares if I'm on page 50 or five? Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm almost done with the book anyway. No, I, I do that when I want to, when I have a comment about something that happened in the uh, book. Something specific. Yeah. 
So like right. if I want to like keep a log sort of log thingy and something happened and usually I just write oh, oh. my god <laughs> on the exact page that should hit the fan. Is that what you yes. mean? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I get it so, now. Yeah, so usually I just, you know, write whatever I have in mind or just like a quote that I liked, but I don't do that because I just highlight right now. So that's when I that's when I do the page number thingy. Hmm. But okay. All right. You organize your, your good reads. I can see that. You declutter a lot of things. You you said you declutter your what is it, your red or to be red list? Mm-hmm. I mean it was it was um okay. there were over two hundred fifty or sixty something books in there. Uh some of them mm. I had already read. Uh, some years ago, some this year, some last year. So I added them to my red shelf. Mm. You know, it was a big mess. And now it's it's down to 34, 35 books that I want to read. So yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like I like that. I like that. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, you at least tried. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're going to do it forever. But... <laughs> But anyways, how was your reading? How was your uh, reading last year? Apart from those two books. Um, we don't I about. think <laughs> I think this year I I read a lot more fantasy than I did last year. Um Ooh. like thinking back, uh, there are a few books that I read nonfiction here and there. Um so that's more more nonfiction than I read last year. Uh, there, there's nonfiction, there's fantasy. I did read less thriller. Um, I read a few. Um, I, I've never, I've never read a graphic novel. I've read one this year. Um, I think my reading year was. Um, it, it had one purpose, and it's for me to escape and not think about any other thing that's actually happening. And it served its mm. purpose. This year was all about fantasy and not being present. Nothing wrong with that at yeah. all. It's the best thing, actually. A year of fantasy. Yeah. A year of fantasy. Um, I just remembered something. When I used to work in the bookstore, uh, a lot of people... I'm trying not to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't care. Um, a, a lot of the people who came looking for nonfiction books or specific books that had nothing to do with fiction um, mm. uh, had a certain vibe to them. Um, they were serious and, you know, I could, tell, I could tell that they were pragmatic and goal-oriented and very real and very... Um, not obnoxious, but like, you know, they, yeah, they, yeah, had, I get it. they, they were like straight, not sexually. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, obviously I don't know, but I meant, am, am I making sense? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Like, I get rigid, it. Rigid. Like, I, I, uh, I'm going to. Yeah. Like they had a vision, like they have, they have a vision, like I'm here to get this and I'm going to get the hell out of here. Exactly. <laughs> Not in that way, but they know what they want. Like it's clear for them what they want. And it's funny. I hate those it's funny because the people who come looking for fiction, a new fantasy or thriller or whatever, they take their time in a bookstore. Oh, you know? And what does what does that say about you know what I mean? What does like, that say about the yeah? That's actually they're open to adventure. Mm. They're open to adventure. They look at covers. They touch them. They pick up the book. They try to read the um the synopsis on the back. Um, they uh they try to I don't know. They they let their senses lead them in the bookstore. They take their time and they're more chatty. They're more um you know I don't know um they're more um. Uh, they're more open. They're, they're, more, more, open. they're more open to they're more open. Exactly. Thank you. That's mm. that's the word I was looking for. Like if you come up mm. to them, um, willing to help, they will be more than uh, happy um, for that, and they will actually give you more recommendations to you. It's it's. I don't know. I mean, people are different, but that's what I got from my time working there. 
that's really, really interesting. Like to think about it for a second. We, we don't want to generalize here. We're not saying people who read, I don't know, non fantasy readers. <laughs> that's what I'm going to categorize them. <laughs> non fantasy. Non fantasy readers. Non fantasy readers and fantasy readers. Um, you I, obviously you worked in the bookstore for like I don't know two years or was it one year? No, it was one year. One year. But I worked at um, a different store also. Yeah. So, so I. So you have experience yeah. with like customers. Exactly. I think, yeah, yeah. I can so tell. you like and you, and most of the time you just like observe and like look at these people and how they choose their books and stuff. So yeah, I'm not saying you're bullshitting or anything, but it makes sense. Like. I mean, you've seen, you've talked to a lot of people. You're. I had a few. Um, I had a few times where I was really surprised because I like to guess when I, when a customer comes in. I like to keep guessing. <laughs> uh, this time, around lunch break, this 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 guy wearing a suit and tie and looking like a banker, <laughs> he walked up to me and he was like, "Do you have the Harry Potter series?" Oh my God! Sign me up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that with I did not expect that title with that with yeah, that outfit. Yeah, it was it was really <laughs> weird, but it made me really happy. And he wanted it for himself, not for his uh, you know, child or whatever. He said I want the the version oh. that adults usually buy. He said I I've been wanting to read it for a long long time and I think this is it. So, you know, yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, it was nice. Like you didn't fangirl or anything. I'm so glad that I'm, I don't work at a bookstore. I don't think I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> no, I kept my calm. I just gave him the creepy smile. <laughs> oh my god, the creepy smile! The famous creepy <laughs> smile is in the room. <laughs> oh my god! He did not. He probably was like, "Why is she looking at me like that?" You're like, "Dude, the suit and Harry Potter." Mm, I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's a good thing that I don't work in a bookstore. Now you said that. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It has its awkward moments. <laughs> Zinev, I think my boss, my boss will fire me the moment. Why? Let me tell you. Probably a lot of squealing would happen. Oh God. Um, I might, I might stop. I might try to stop myself from jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me seeing like fangirling, and my boss like walks by, like, "What's up with that girl? The new girl? What's up with her?" <laughs> oh, it's just a Harry Potter moment. It's just a Harry Potter moment. <laughs> um, that would be sweet. no, no. You know what? Let's jump. Um, we're gonna talk about your experience with the bookstore because I think that would be a great episode. Um, would love to have that. I'm just gonna. I have so many questions for you, Zina, even though we talked about it. But I think it would be really interesting for everyone to know what it's like to work in a bookstore. Yeah, that would be fun. Um, it's not always great. I know that because of Zina, <laughs> but still. But it's it's a yeah, good yeah. experience. So tell me, tell me. Yes. Um. Yeah. How many books have you managed to read this year? Was it more than last year or? Okay, so in 2018, I read 60 mm -hmm. books. In 2019, I read um, 30 for obvious reasons because I, um, I had a new job, I had to study. Mm -hmm. So I just read 30 books. But this year I read 40 books. That's cool. Um, what about you? I mean, do you, do you know, like, can you like guess? Um... If I had to guess, I think it would be around 50 books this year. Wow. Because okay. sometimes I go through several books in a weekend or in a, like um, four days time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus you're a fast reader. Me can relate, but I know that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, was, it was a special year anyway. Um, yeah. I think like people, a lot, there are a lot of people like saying that they've read a lot this year than the year before for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. um, because they're stuck home, so they tend to pick up more books, um, or read more. You have more time to read for sure. Read more, yeah. I have more time to read more. All right, um, let's talk about our top reads of twenty twenty. We're doing this in no particular order, right? Okay. Okay. 
I mean, all of these books are good, equally good. Yes, sort of. <laughs> okay, well, tell me what's the first one you want to talk about. Okay, but you know, the uh, before we talk about the, my favorite books, I just want to ask, like, the process of you choosing the top five reads was it easy? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was like <laughs> trying to remember uh, someone you never met, according to Taylor Swift. I am literally <laughs> quoting her. Seriously, it was very difficult for me because I have a very bad memory. And as I told you, I tend to read books and I mean, I could vaguely, vaguely remember them. Um, but trying to actually think of my favorite of the year was very difficult. So, yeah. What about you? I, I can't relate to that because I have Goodreads. You know Goodreads? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I had to. <laughs> it just sucks. Now I can see why you do have good reads. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to say that. <laughs> but yeah, so basically it was it was really difficult for me to narrow it down to five books because I've read so many good books this year. So like. I had I had to come up with a system. Mm -hmm. You know me in system. Yes. I had to come up with a list of criteria. This will get nerdy for you guys, so brace yourself. <laughs> so basically for a book to make the cut in my top reads of the year, mm -hmm. it should tick all the boxes in my list. Um, number one, it should be quotable. Okay. Number two... Um, I want it like, you know, like more, I'm likely to reread it. Um, number three, uh, elicit strong reactions, whether like it's anger, laughter, or tears, any of any strong reactions like fits here. Um, number four, I can recommend it to a lot of people and five makes you think, you know, makes me think or sticks sticks with me after a long time those are my criteria wow. what do you think i think they're very um specific i really had to sit down and really think about it because i had so many favorite books and you know i'm nerdy when it comes to making lists so you had to make a law for it i know like i had exactly like i had to think of a list of things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i understand yeah 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 it makes sense Okay, so like the book, um, as I said, I'm just going to talk in no particular mm -hmm. order. Mm -hmm. The first book I'm going to talk about is Just Kids. Mm -hmm. It's Patti Smith's memoir uh, about her friendship with Robert Maplethorpe. He's an artist and their lives in 60s, 70s New York. It's about, it's about art and what it's like to be an artist. Um, it's um it's about art that consumes you that frustrates you and that makes you feel alive it's so so inspiring um you know it's about i don't know how to explain it it's it yeah it's about art that makes you sacrifice things like having a roof on your head or getting art supplies you know having to choose between those two or having to choose between starving for food or visiting an art museum. Oh. It's one of the most interesting memoirs I've had the pleasure to read. Yeah, it's so good. It's just so good. Wow. Um, I've highlighted and like underlined so many quotes in that one. Definitely going to reread it. <laughs> I mean, it made it to the list. So, it duh. sounds really intense. Um, it is. It is intense. And I cried. Aww. At the end, I was like crying like a baby. It was so good. I absolutely recommend if you're looking for a beautiful, like for beautiful prose and a bit of creative inspiration. It's so inspiring, so beautifully written. Um, I, I know nothing about the main characters. I know nothing about Patti Smith or the, the, the um, her friend Robert or their art. I knew nothing about them. I just went to, into the book um, knowing as, as little as possible. But you know that book is just really great. I feel like I should read more memoirs. This year I've read so many great memoirs and this is one of them. Wow. 
Okay, Zineb, what's your book? Um, Surprise me because I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Really? I think you do. Okay, what is it? Wait, so here's the thing. I, I didn't really rely on... I didn't I didn't have to uh, when I w when I when I picked the five books that I liked most this year um, I didn't uh, sit with myself you know I didn't do it your way I kind of did it my own way which is like oh I really remember this book and I liked it a lot and here's why so yeah um, uh, so I We'll start with uh, what I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's um, it was an eye opener, I guess. It's one of the few serious books that I read this year. Um, it's a memoir. Um, so it's a book where he talks about um building a habit out of reading uh, out of running what did I say reading so he just starts talking about his journey how he uh, started very slow and then he turned into um um like a an obsessed man he he started getting obsessed with being healthy in a good way obviously being healthy and running he started making it um habits as important and as necessary as breathing and drinking water but at the same time he starts um telling us or giving advice uh to people who want to adopt any kind of habit and especially writing um and that was the reason why i picked it up because i was i was again um looking for something steady um you know, to keep my feet on the ground because I I was growing tired. At the time when I picked it up, I was growing tired of fantasy, of reading fiction and things that aren't real. And I wanted something steady, something uh, sure, um, because my life was in chaos. So when I picked up the book, that's what I wanted and that's what I got. It has a lot of, um, not really inspiration, but um, this idea that if you keep order in your life, if you want it bad enough, you can actually reach it. So that's why I put it on my list because it's a book that I think I will be going back to a few times um, in the future. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was really inspiring when I read that book. Um, I'm not a fan of running. I don't exercise. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like running at all, but it's, I still thought it was really interesting and I was so into it um when i was reading like it wasn't boring at all as you said it's just an i don't know i found it in inspiring for me it's just like you know it was motivating like it like i after reading the book i just wanted to do something like i wanted to write a book or i don't know i wanted to do something creative if you know what i mean mm -hmm. um whether it's like writing or reading or just whatever but as i said like you don't have to be interested in reading i mean and running why on earth do i keep saying reading <laughs> Me too. I do too. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. It, the book is about running and writing both. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if, if you're not interested in that, it doesn't mean that it's it's not a good book. It's There's still, there's still more to it. Um, I would recommend it as well. Um, okay. My second book is uh, I'm going to talk about the things around your neck by the Nigerian mm. author Shimamandi Adichie. All yes. right. Um, it's, it's a collection of short stories. And I mean, the thing with short story collection is that they're like, you rarely like all the stories. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you're, you get really selective. Sometimes you like two stories or just three. So you don't really know how to rate the book. That's why I hate rating books. I, I'm, I still have issue with like giving book stars, by the way. We'll talk about this in another episode, but, um, but yeah, like this is like, so far, this is the only short story collection that I actually like all the stories. I loved all the stories. Each of these stories were, was just incredibly immersive and just compelling. So good. So good. So good. Um, so yeah, you got race, gender, gender roles, identity, marriage, and 
like are all strong themes in this collection and the writing oh my god the writing she is something else just you know just go and read some of her quotes and you will know what i'm talking about she's such a skillful writer if you're looking to get into reading short stories or just interested in reading adichie's writing at all i feel like this is an excellent place to start mm -hmm. all right sounds good i'm actually not that you're surprised next. if you fit um my second book i would go with wonder by rj palacio yes i think oh, i was with you when i picked it up right yes you got yeah, the yeah. pretty cover yeah the blue pretty cover um so i think um some of you have already heard about the book or watched the movie uh, wonder is a realistic fiction it's about a boy named August who suffers from facial deformation. Um, he's never been to school. And the book starts um, when um, he is sent off to middle school. So it's just uh, the wonder tells the story of August as he goes through um, the agony of being a middle schooler or a primary um, student. I'm not sure. <laughs> um mm. uh with um problems um so the idea is that he is uh surrounded by um quote unquote normal kids and mm. we all know how mean and obnoxious kids can be i mean did you cry because i did did you because i cried I a lot but here's the thing um, there was a lot of moments where I cried and I was like, I just want to kill those fucking kids. Obviously, not really. <laughs> oh my God. But because they were so mean and they hurt him so many times verbally um, and sometimes physically. Um, but here's the thing. Wonder is so wonderful that <laughs> he melted their hearts. He melted yeah. the hearts of the kids who abused him. Uh, the kids who called him names, the kill, the kids who made him feel less. It's yeah. like you're witnessing his journey into gaining their hearts and changing um, whatever could be changed. Yeah, I would Ooh. recommend it too. I second that. Really good. Also, I would recommend it to kids too. So if you have kids or you have like younger sisters or siblings and they're asking for a book to read, please give them wonder yes it's the right everyone needs to read this book it's a, it should be a must read um yeah okay my third book is it i think it's my third book it's before the coffee gets cold by um toshikazu kawaguchi i hope i pronounce his name correctly mm -hmm. um it's a translated novel and it's about a cafe where people are able to time travel but oh. they must return to the, yeah they yeah so they must return to the present before they before their coffee gets cold this is the plot wow um yeah it has some like elements of magical realism there but the book like more so focuses on different characters dealing with adult relationships um it's a quick read and very, very touching story. I cried with that one too. I didn't expect to cry. I thought I was just going to read about coffee and that's it. Little oh, did wow. I know, I started really? crying. By the <laughs> I way, I don't cry. remember. I don't remember you talking about it. I don't think you told I me did. about it. I did. I, I did. No, I didn't talk to you about it because remember, I was doing the readathon thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was doing the readathon and, um, it was during the readathon I picked this book up. So I was reading so many other books and I probably like didn't mention this one. I think I did really mention it. Really? I don't remember. Did I talk? Okay, fine. I think I got it wrong. I probably talked to Sammy about it and I forgot mm -hmm. to talk to you because I thought I talked to you both about it for some reason. It's fine. So no, okay. <laughs> I'm finding out about it now. 
No, I, I mean, I remember talking to someone about it. If it's not you, it's probably my friend Sammy. So if it's not Sammy, then it's you. So I'm just like not sure which one I talked to you about. Um, but there you go. It's yeah, <laughs> made it to the list. It's really good. Um, and it's oh, and it, uh, by the way, when I was talking to my, that makes sense now. Now I remember. I was talking to Sammy about it, and he told me that there was a movie in Japanese for it as well. So oh, are you gonna, gonna, watch, gonna it? watch it? The hell yeah, I will oh, watch God. it. <laughs> I like when you read a book yeah. and you watch a movie afterwards. It sounds exactly. It's really, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to cool. do, I'm going to watch, yeah, I'm going to watch the movie. So yeah, this is how we got to talking about it. I thought you recommended the movie, but it makes more sense that my fr that Sammy recommended it. So because it's Japanese. <laughs> and, yeah. So yeah, that makes more sense now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. That's my book. That's my book. All right. <laughs> Um, okay, so the book that I'm going to talk about now is, um, it's a part of a series that I've been reading for years. The book is called Famine by Laura Talasa. It's an adult fantasy. Right. It is literally about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Famine is the third book of the series. Um, Famine is one of the four horsemen of the, the apocalypse. And he's an anti-hero, obviously. And he's here to wreak havoc on what's left of humanity. It's literally my favorite thing to read about ever. I like oh, reading. That's right up your alley. <laughs> I remember when I read it, I canceled life that weekend. <laughs> I got the book. You know, I'm I'm getting all excited right now and i'm getting red because i still remember i was like you know what i'm not gonna talk to anyone i'm going to read this book this weekend i can't go to work thinking about the book waiting for me at home i can't focus i can't function as a human being i can't do my job if i'm still thinking of the book okay yeah well i don't know if i'm it's something i would read because first of all can i talk about the cover did you check the cover? Well, here's the thing. You can't really judge these books by the cover. Because you're not going to take them seriously if you do. Okay. Well, sounds cool. Sounds cool. Yeah. Um, okay. My next read is Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. <laughs> it's... Uh, okay, it's a collection of like folklore, myth, fairy tale stories. Okay, not fairy tale, dark fairy tale stories. It's kind of it's kind of a mashup of Uprooted, Beauty and the Beast, um, One Thousand and One Nights, and Kerila with Dimna. <laughs> oh, if you haven't read, yeah, if you haven't read those books, then I can't help you here. <laughs> but basically, the stories are are dark um hunting and just beautifully written no surprise uh, don't get me started on the plot twist man the plot twist with these ones like i feel like lee bardugo went ham with the plot twists mm -hmm. so good so so good so good um also the illustrations oh my goodness like like you know how they formed a frame around the pages and something was added every time you flipped the page until the story was complete yeah, yeah, I have freaking gorgeous. Yeah, so it's get really a copy, beautiful. even if you're not. Yeah, get a copy, even if you're not planning to read it. It's just freaking gorgeous to look at. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good. Another collection of short sure stories, and I really loved it. Sina, I think you should read it. What are you waiting for? You have the book. You have a physical will, copy of the book. Read it. Read I will. It. I will. I will. I will. Don't worry. So, is this your um, fourth book? Fourth favorite book? Yeah, that that was my fourth favorite book. In no particular order, again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. They're not going to feel bad. What's your bad. fourth book? Um, I would have to go with From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I, I hope this Ooh. is how her name is pronounced. Obviously, I liked it. It's a paranormal fantasy series. It's one of those books that I always say, why didn't I read it sooner? Um, so it's about a, it's about a maiden who is supposedly chosen by the gods, um, 
and that means that she has a list of duties and her list is painfully long and rigid so she starts feeling um weird and the things that she's supposed to do don't make sense anymore especially when um people around her start dying and she starts hearing rumors uh about the royal family and stuff uh so that's all i'm gonna say about the plot it starts going downhill from then mm. and i can't okay. wait to read the second book so i would totally recommend cool. it all right okay mm. i'm actually tempted i'm actually tempted to you i, might I as think well. you might like it okay so I my last it. book is last but not least anna karenina by ah. Leo tolstoy yes I finished it, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You know, hitting that finished button on Goodreads never felt that satisfying, Zena. <laughs> I mean, it's a big book. And you're it's you take your sweet time reading. No problem with yeah, that. It was, yeah, it was a beast of a book. Um, it's really hard to describe what it, the book is about without spoiling it. Also, it's sort of plotless. Um, it's not about one thing. It's about so many things. Um, it's about family. It's about politics. It's about relationships. It's about religion, education, love, art, society, class, and so much more. I feel like Tolstoy covered pretty much everything in this book. Hence the size. <laughs> I found myself enjoying the characters a lot more than the plot, to be honest. I mean, there's no plot, but I just love the characters. His characters are unbelievably complex and real. They felt so real to me. And I just, I really miss them all. I, like, I already miss all the characters now talking about them. Oh, I just really miss them. And I'm still thinking about the characters for some reason. Like, what are they up to? What are they doing right now? I know it's fictional <laughs> book, but you know that feeling. Like, I know. So what happened with those two? Are they, like, okay? Like, what about the kids? Maybe like, you should read the fan fiction. Have you thought about that? Oh, hell no, no, no. I don't want anyone to ruin the plot for me because, you know, fan fiction, they tend to, like, I'm not saying fan fiction is bad, but some of them, like, tend to go crazy. I don't want, I don't want them to ruin it for me, no. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. It's not as daunting or difficult to get through. Don't let the size intimidate you. You're listening to me, Dunya. Don't let the size intimidate you. Just go ahead <laughs> Just and start reading one. it yeah because she's she wants to read it but she's like she's not sure read it <laughs> um so yeah it's very fast moving for a classic wow it's almost um, a thousand pages long it is wow and don't let this size intimidate you i'm saying it guys like read it please that's my book that's my fifth book okay um so uh the fifth book was very unexpected because i just finished it three four days ago it's called magical midlife madness it's a paranormal fantasy again so it's about this middle-aged um 40 year old uh woman who gets divorced uh because her husband thinks she's boring and he's not into her anymore and she just sent her son to college so she's recently divorced lonely and has no goal in her life. She ha she doesn't have to bake or cook or clean or do any of the things that she's been doing for the past 20 years. Uh, what she does is that she moves back to her parents' home, um, trying to get her business together <laughs> and <laughs> think of a way to get back on track. Um, but when that doesn't, seem to be an option anymore she gets a job offer to um, be a house sitter for this um this haunted um house kind of castle in this uh, oh. town yeah 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 I and like that. um what she does is she um she tries to uh find the courage to actually move out and go for an adventure <laughs> okay well it sounds like a great year reading wise yeah um, i mean i have some other favorite reads from 2020 that didn't quite make it into the top five 
all still all of them are amazing books do you have any other books you want to talk about or do you have any books on my list you do you, do you are you interested in i want to read um, anna karenina but not anytime soon maybe four years from now you know i'm just i'm assuming we're gonna be old but just how long you know what i mean <laughs> I'll, I just hope I will still have my eyes functioning when I read it. I will read it to you. Or maybe... Oh. I will come to your house and read it to you. That's sweet. <laughs> For sure. How about I reread the, I reread the book with you? That would be great. <laughs> I always wanted someone to read books for me. At the right speed. Not too slow, not too fast. Okay, so I'm just going to be like sitting there next to you and be like, Sarah, can you pick up a little bit of the speed? Okay, <laughs> Sarah, can you go a little bit slower, but not too? Sarah, can you just be more dramatic with the dialogue? Thanks. <laughs> All the intonations, that would be so sweet. Yeah, well, you didn't really nail the, um, the southern accent. So I was thinking like your French accent didn't really quite <laughs> imagine they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Would love to do that. I would Thank love to you. do that. That's so sweet of you. Okay. Well, I mean, that brings us to the end of the episode, I think. Yeah. Um, let us know your top five reads of 2020. If you have any suggestions or feel, or questions, feel free to reach us at our bookpodcast at gmail.com or our Instagram page. I just want to talk about books. <laughs>